Hey, so let's talk about this little doohickey right here. The Nintendo Switch with two blue Joy-Cons because my right Joy-Con, at least the red one, uh, has Joy-Con drift. So that's totally normal. Not a problem at all, as you can all tell. Anyways, let's talk about something, okay? Let's take a controller off of here and um, see what we got. Try to make it more of a hassle than it actually was. See this little thing? It's called an IR motion camera. Not sure what it does, at least in 2020. It's never really used all that much. Um, and I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it with you. Because uh, it seems to me that after learning a little bit about this thing, Nintendo isn't really taking advantage of it. In fact, I think they could do so much more with this thing than meets the eye. Um, let me see what I can think about from the top of my head. Uh, hold on, stay tuned. I'm gonna think about something right now. Um, frick. Yeah, th um, there aren't that many games that, uh, the Switch has that, uh, really use this little camera thingy. And the only ones I can really think about are really just games like, um, Ring Fit Adventure and 1-2 Switch. Both of them have things where, one, you put your thumb in there and it tracks your heart rate. But the other one um, does a little thing where you have to open your mouth and you go like nah, 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 a lot. And so that's kind of weird. Um, I don't know why those are the only things that you can do with it, but that seems like because of there's like a, it's like a motion camera and it's like a sensor that also rates your heartbeat. That can be pretty darn cool for a lot of other experiences. And I don't know. It's so weird to me that nobody else is doing it. Like, not even indie companies are taking advantage of this little thing here. <laughs> you know, if you're going to put a game on Switch, right? Uh, you got to make a gimmick work or something. Or make a game all around functionalities of the Switch just because you're an indie title. That'd be really fun, dude. Like, taking advantage of features on the Switch and, you know, just not using them at all is confusing to me, in my opinion. Like, why would you not focus on these little things all that much? Why would you not prioritize on something like HD rumble, um, IR motion controls, screenshots? Um, these are the kinds of things that I feel like we just forgot about. Um, there's no other first party Nintendo games that focuses on this anymore, except for Ring Fit Adventure. And, and it's only there when the concept that they have in mind specifically needs it. And most of the time, it doesn't really tend to be all that cool. Um, for example, the newest thing, Super Mario uh, 3D All-Stars, um, has Super Mario Galaxy, where they had Wii remotes and not Switch controllers. And so, um, say you wanted to move the thing as you were playing, you'd have to have a Pro Controller and not like the other thing, because motion controls, I heard, on this absolutely suck. Um, or at least that's what I, that's what I heard. Um... <laughs> But yeah, that shouldn't have to be like a main feature, you know? Like, there should be games that we should get from Nintendo, you know, at the very least Nintendo exclusively, um, that should take advantage of said features. Am I right or am I right, you know? Sometimes I don't want to focus on friggin' buttons and, and, and all these other stuff. Maybe I want to look at this really interesting black thing over here. Or the microphone that's on the Switch. Did you know that this Switch has a microphone at the bottom right here? Yeah, me neither. But that's some really cool stuff that is never prioritized on. We, we we should take we should do that kinds of stuff. Um, but what do you think? Okay, this this video is three minutes long. Uh, just wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, if you like a video like this, then 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 let me know because I'm gonna make more like you know small little question videos like these, and I just want to know your thoughts on them. Other than that, um, peace out, boys. I'm going to sleep. Uh, ciao ciao. Uh, bonus clip. I just came to the conclusion that Nintendo is trying to be someone else because they are not appreciating their own characteristics in their consoles like this little thing here. Um, quote me if I'm wrong. I just, it's just, you know, why not be yourself? Why not be a Switch instead of a PlayStation or an Xbox or a PC? Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm probably really tired right now, but... <laughs> Nintendo, you gotta take into individuality. See this thing? It's an LED right over here. It's supposed to light up whenever you get like a friend invitation. Yet there's no games that like let you know that they invite you to play their games. Like, <sighs> Nintendo, be you for a second, dude. Take advantage of your console. I'm being too close to the screen here, but it's okay because you can get.